please welcome your host, Jake Globox. Welcome everybody to Building Your Comments. I am your host, Jake Globox, and today we'll be doing episode 5 of Building Your Comments. Welcome back everybody. It's been a long, long, long time since we've done this series. Actually, it was 2016, I think, the last series, uh, well, the last episode of this. Uh, so it's been a good two years. If you guys want to go check it out, make sure to do so. It'll be in the eye at the top of the screen or also links in the description if you guys want to go and do that. But welcome today. Of course, we've got some amazing builds. The series where I take your comments and try and build them inside of Minecraft. So I tweeted out asking you guys uh, things. Here's a little sneak peek kind of of, of what's going to be in it. I'm trying not to, um, I'm, well, I'm trying not to show what's going to be in it in today's episode because I'm recording this after I've obviously built everything. So hope you guys do enjoy. I just want to let you guys know as well, we do actually have merchandise now. Um, as you can see, link on the screen right now. And also in the description if you guys want to go and check it out. Hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you want to suggest what we should build in the next episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, and I'll try and build your comments in the episode. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Okay, to start this off, we do have a comment over on Twitter from Peaches who says, Build a frog wearing your merch. Now, this one I had to do. It was so funny. Uh, here's my merch on screen right now. Here's the merch I'm going to be building on top of this frog. I just thought it was a really fun suggestion. Of course, I'm a frog myself. Um, <laughs> so, I just thought it was funny. So, thank you for the suggestion, Peaches. I will show you now what I did uh, with this build. So, as you can see, I started off with the logo first um, on the merch, just because I thought it was easier. So, I started to build up a few blocks, of course, starting with the um, actual logo of the uh, merchandise first. And then you'll see I do actually start to add the black background as well. So, lettering made out of quartz. I always like that. Four high, three wide. Uh, I don't know, it's just easy lettering to do. As you, you, you might have saw it on the build in your comments board that I built as well. I actually built that today um, because obviously I had to uh, start a new world uh, because I don't have the uh, same one as 2016. Because believe it or not, guys, episode 4 of building your comments two years ago was actually on the Xbox 360. Now, I've been on the Xbox One edition since then, and on the I've gone up two editions from then. I, I, that was on the Xbox 360 edition. I've gone on the Xbox One edition. And this is on the Bedrock edition. So that's insane. So as you can see, I'm building a B right now. I think that's pretty cool text, actually. Glow box. Uh, however, there's the X I struggle to build. I'm not going to lie. The X, I really did struggle to build the X. It was just... I don't know. It's just really hard to build for me. Really hard to build. But I decided to go with just stairs and then destroy them a little bit there. And I, I kind of think that's what I kept it. It does look a bit weird. But then I've obviously I did the black background, which is also on the logo of the merchandise. Um, this is actually called the glow box design, which I, I kind of like. What do you guys think about this design of the merchandise? I'm pretty, I think it's pretty cool. It's very simple. And now as you can see, I start to build the shape of the t-shirt. Uh, I start to shape it all up. I, I went for a nice white colour. I don't know, a nice clean white colour. Of course, I could have chose any colour. Um, always plug. Um, the merch is available in... in, in, in most colours, guys, if you want to go and check it out. Uh, and as you can see here is the shape of the um, where the, where the head's going to come on, um, come out of for the frog. So I've got to try and shape this now. I think I go for like a, a big circle. And then this is like kind of like the, um, what do you call this bit? Like the neck, the neck part of the t-shirt. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but, but that's it. As you can see, it's kind of a weird shape. The frog, of course. I don't know. I, wouldn't, I didn't look at any pictures when building this frog. I did it by memory. So this, this is interesting. As you can see, I start... To build green. I was going to do a blue frog. Of course, my Xbox skin is blue. But I decided to go with a uh, a nice green colour. To go with the traditional frog, you know. Why not? Like the emoji frog. Um, so that's what I did. As you can see, I start to shape it. It looks really good at the moment, I think. this, As you can see, the it look, kind of looks like a love heart. Like a green love heart. But the, the top of it is where the eyes are going to go. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of like a shape of a frog, I guess. It, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it turned out quite cool. And of course, I'm building the mouth right here. And as you can see, behind the mouth is where the eyes are going to go. So I think I get some red wool out right now to build. Um, oh no, red concrete actually to build the the mouth. Um, so guys, this actually taught. This is all this what you're going to see right now. I think I managed to edit this down to what a 25 minute video maybe. It was over two hours recording. Over two hours it took me to record this. And obviously to edit it, it took me like and maybe another two hours actually. Probably even more. Um, so if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely amazing. I'd appreciate that as well. As you can see, I had, I actually added teeth. Like the quartz's teeth. I'm not sure if frogs have teeth. Let me know. <laughs> and it also was a big tongue I did. A big curly tongue. So uh, look at the big googly eyes. I kind of like that. But look at the tongue. That is so... <laughs> I don't know, I just decided, I decided to have a big tongue as if he's going to like catch some flies or something. Um, so here are the eyes. I'm just doing the same as I did on the other side. I think that I really do like the eyes because the big 
googly eyes. Uh, I don't know, I just really liked them. Uh, I was going to try and base it off the emoji, but uh, yeah, I kind of added a bit of white into the eyes. But I think those, that looks pretty cool. Look at the nose as well. I like this. I, I'm impressed with what I did right now. So then I started to make it 3D. Uh, I started to make it more organic by going around the back and just pretty much curving it all the way around. That's what I did uh, all the way around. So nothing special. I just, I just curved it all the way around. Pretty much the same design. Now, I do also want to say, I do apologise to the people that didn't make it in this video. I think I chose five builds to build. Five! That, took, that takes quite a lot of time, five builds. So, um, I do apologise. I had, like, over 60, 70 replies on Twitter with um, suggestions what I should build. So, um, it was kind of hard. The crazy, the better. I tried, I tried to cr um, choose, like, the weirdest ones. Because um, I thought it would be more interesting to build. If you guys want to leave some suggestions as well down in the comments, if you don't have Twitter... Uh, make sure to leave some suggestions of what I should build next time um, down in the comments. Also, uh, if you do have Twitter, make sure to go and follow me on Twitter. Um, I, I post things like this, ask you guys questions for videos on there all the time. It's just at Jake Glowbox. It's just my YouTube name, but without any spaces, and just at, of course. Uh, so, I start to shape this again at the back here. I think it's more like a love heart shape. I, 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 I remember changing this in a minute. I changed the bottom of it because I wasn't too sure. Yeah, as you can see, I had that and then change a little bit there. And it does look like a green love heart. But I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, that's the back of the head. And there you go. Look at it from the front. A frog wearing my merch. So, now I start to make the t-shirt more 3D and more organic because it was very flat. I was going to give it flat. I'm not going to lie. But I decided, nope. I'm going to go all out. It took me about... Probably about 40 minutes just to build this one build, so um, hopefully you guys appreciate that. Um, See, so yeah, it did take me quite long to do. And you can see, I just start to make it, I just, I, I go round. I loop it all the way around and then connect it together first. That's what I like to do when I'm doing more connects. I always like to build an outline first and then fill it in. It just, I don't know, it just kind of helps me. I feel like I do it better like that. So there we go, I think, is that the t-shirt done? I've, I've still got more to do, oh my goodness. Um, a lot to do, actually. So... We've nearly done now, so we're just doing the arms. We are doing the arms of it now. And I thought the arms turned out really funny, actually. I didn't know what to do for the arms, so I I, I kind of made them just poking out and then going different directions and things. So I decided instead of making it all straight and um, boring, I decided to make it a bit of a curve. It was kind of awkward, though, because I usually build organics with three block wide. It probably makes no sense to you guys, but of course the legs and the arms are only two wide, so it was kind of hard to add a bit of detail to them. Uh, as you can see, I did the feet as well now, and I think the feet turned out quite funny, because, uh, of, of course, the frog toes, I tried to do, like, web feet. Yeah, it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> but I did try, I tried. As you can see, I'm trying to do a bit of web feet now. It's, it was so hard to work with two, um, two in the middle instead of three, because obviously I couldn't just add one in the middle. It, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but look at that. That looks weird. You see what I mean? And then, of course, I tried to add, like, the um, the webbed hands. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to lie. Then I start to add a bit of green inside to make it look, look really cool. And here is the finished product of build number one. So thank you to Peaches for suggesting this. This is a frog wearing my merch. And as you can see, I, start, I added a few flies around the tongue to see, like, I'm catching a few flies. And there you go, the frog is wearing the merch. The frog is part of the merch squad. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for the suggestion. Hopefully you do like it. And that is pretty much that. Okay, so the next suggestion is by Little Lover 36 on Twitch. It says, build Steve riding on a chicken, but the chicken uh, is wearing a party hat. So this is what I decided to do. So I thought this was quite a funny suggestion. So thank you so much, Abby, for suggesting this. Um... So we're going to go with it now. And I'm not going to lie, I've not built a chicken in Minecraft in about... I think it was about two years ago before this, so this was interesting. I actually got a chicken in little command blocks. Not command blocks, barrier blocks, so they couldn't escape, just so I can count blocks. Uh, and that was my way of building it. I just counted blocks on a chicken, and it turned out quite well. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm kind of happy with it, and considering I haven't built a chicken in so long. So here's the head I'm trying to do right now. I think I did it a bit too big, though, the head. I, I realised in just a minute that the head wasn't even that big, as you can see. Uh, I think it's only like four, uh, six wide, maybe? Or four wide, the head? I'm not even too sure. Uh, it's four wide. Oh, my gosh. Chicken's head's are really small. As you can see, I, I start to do big here. This is quite a fast build, which I'm happy about. Considering the last one took me 40 minutes to do, this one took about 15 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe just under 15 minutes, but I thought it was a really cool comment. So as you see, I start to have the dangly bit now in just a minute after this. Uh, there's so many cool things you can do. The smooth sandstone really looks good, though. I, I, I've used that quite a lot in this episode, you'll, you'll see. Smooth sandstone, I really do like it. Of course, it's a new block. If you guys don't know, you can craft it by smelting sandstone in a furnace. Um, but there you go. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. A little dangly bit coming down from the um, 
from the good old beak and then of course I changed him to a Steve skin to help me build this Steve part. So I need to build Steve now on top of a chicken. So I kind of went for like a, like he was a cowboy on a cow, but of course it's a chicken. So I, I, you'll, you'll understand what I mean in a minute. He has his arm up in the air like that and I'm doing like that as if you can see me, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. So as you can see, I'm starting to put the legs. It does look quite weird right, uh, in just a minute because it looks like I'm building it really wide. But you'll see, I'm just trying to curve the legs so it looks like he's riding it. See, this bit looks like his body's going to be that wide, but it's really not. I promise you, it's kind of hard because I had to build it too wide yet again. Uh, and the body was obviously quite small. So the head had to be, I think it was six wide. And I'm used to doing pixel art heads like maybe eight wide, I'm pretty sure. So it was kind of hard to fit it in the space I had to fit it in. Um, but we did it. We worked with it. And I think, I think it turned out quite cool. As you see a little Steve face, he looks quite cute, actually, if you ask me. He looks quite cute. Um, so, yeah, I decided to go with blue eyes. I think that's pretty much closest to what he is. He's got a brown mouth. I don't know why, but he has a brown mouth. Maybe he has no lipstick on today, uh, as you can see. I think, it, I think I did pretty well with this. So, I did the back of the head as well. Of course, the hair was quite hard to do because I had to like make it up as I went along. I couldn't really see the hair because I couldn't see the back of my skin. So, then here's the arms. Um, I decided to put one arm touching my chicken, well, kind of, it look, make it look like it's tucked to my chicken, and then one arm in the air, you'll have to see. Uh, and I thought, I'm actually quite impressed with this build. So thank you for the suggestion, Abby, little lover. Um, so yeah, she, <laughs> I don't know, it was just hard to build. I'm looking at this now laughing because it was so, it was really hard to build it on a small scale. Um, I think I cut the bit out where I built the other hand, but you'll have to see it in just a minute. So as you can see now, I'm building the party hat for the chicken. Look at this, we're building a little party hat. Um, so I decided to go purple. I don't know why actually. I don't know why. I just thought purple was a cool colour for a party hat. And then I had a li little dots everywhere to make it very colourful. And I thought this was really cool. Uh, I'm actually really happy with this build. I'm not going to lie. It was very easy to build, but it was a fun build to do, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, thank you for the suggestion, little lover. And here's me, of course, Steve riding on a chicken. <laughs> I mean, the, the chicken doesn't have a party hat on, but that's that's a, the, besides the point. And here's the finished product. So thank you so much for, this, for the suggestion. Make sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So let's go to the next build of building your comments. Okay, so this next one was from Sister Shenai, uh, Galactic Kawaii, um, on Twitter. who says, build a burger with eyes and legs as fries. So I thought this was a really cool suggestion. Thank you so much to uh, Sister Kawaii. Thank you so much. So here we go. We're building it right now. So as you can see, the green stuff is kind of like lettuce and of course this stuff is the burger. I think we end up with three burgers on this. It's quite a big burger. Uh, we start with the tomatoes or whatever you want to call it. Maybe tomatoes, maybe tomato sauce, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say it is. Maybe the ketchup. Uh, here's another bun, so it's kind of like a double double burger. I this isn't the last bun, believe me. I start to add a few buns. It's kind of like a Scooby Doo burger. It ends up to be. Um, so then, of course, we add another burger. I think this is the third burger now, if I'm counting correctly. This is going to be the third <laughs> burger. Oh my goodness, it's a monster burger. And then, of course, the last layer of the bun and that yellow stuff. It couldn't. I guess it could be like cheese. It's like a cheesy burger. So there we go. And this is the last layer of the bun. So we've got three buns in total. Three buns in total, so it's quite a big burger. You, you, I think you'll get to see in just a minute how big it is. And then we decide to add a few buttons as well to make it like seeds. Because of course, on on burger, you get like the seeds at the top bun. Um, so I decided to do it with buttons. I thought it looked pretty cool. Of course, you can put buttons on the floor now. I mean, it's been like that for ages, but I only found it out not long ago, so that was interesting. You can put, you can put buttons on the floor, and I thought that turned out really well as seeds. So that's what I went for uh, for that. So I don't know why I put them on the bottom. You don't really get seeds on the bottom, do you? I've just realised that now. <laughs> but then I started to build the eyes. It was kind of difficult to try and fit the eyes on. So I had to make up a design here. As you can see, I changed it a bit. Uh, but I, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I'm not going to lie. Yet again, another <laughs> build I'm happy with. Just because it's so random, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I was going to do a pixel art and start like a, a 2D, but I decided to make it 3D. And as you can see, the eyes will change in just a minute because it was hard to do the eyes on a burger. And, and here's the legs. I decided to do fries as legs, as, as they suggested. And I think I also did the arms as fries as well. Lovely French fries as the arms. And then I, I think I add more detail to the eyes because I wasn't too happy with how the eyes turned out. 
Uh, so you'll see me now adding a bit of detail to them. Yet again with smooth sandstone. I used a lot of smooth sandstone in this build. I just, I don't know. Smooth sandstone is such a nice block. It doesn't have too many textures in it. It's just nice and smooth. I think, I, yeah, I'm just really happy with smooth sandstone now. So, did I add a mouth? I can't remember if I added a mouth to this build, you know. It'd be kind of weird if I didn't, right? I mean, I'm, maybe I didn't. I don't think they asked for a mouth, so. Just eyes and um, arms and legs. That's all you ask for. That's all you get. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of detail I'm running right now, as you can see. I wasn't too happy with it, but I'm happy with how the end product looks like. You guys will have to see in just a minute. <laughs> but look at it. It looks, it looks like a dancing burger. That should be Burger King's logo right there. But as you can see here is the final product. I decided to add some skeleton skulls on top uh, to make it look a bit more 3D, the eyes. And as you can see, I'm kind of happy with it. You can see all the layers. you got the lettuce, you got the tomatoes, the two burgers, sorry. It's only two burgers, but that's, that's, quite, that's quite big. It's like a double cheeseburger. That is amazing with the seeds on top. Okay, so let's go into build number three of building your comments. Okay, so this next one is by Moose Logan. It says, uh, creeper on a hoverboard. So they want me to build a creeper on a hoverboard. Now, I thought this was a very funny suggestion. How could I not say yes to this? I had to do it. As soon as I saw it, I had to build a hoverboard with a creeper on top. Because I thought that was a, such a funny suggestion. So thank you so much for the suggestion, uh, Logan. So we're going to try and do this right now. <laughs> I decided to go for red because, I don't know, I just, when I thought of a hoverboard, I thought of red. Yeah, I mean, is this a swagway or is this a hoverboard? Is that, is that the same thing? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is a hoverboard. It turned out to be quite cool. I'm not going to lie. It, of course, this is the shape of the hoverboard. I tried to do it right there. It goes inwards in the middle and then comes back out. It's very weird shape, but I decided to do it again. And right now, I'm just copying the wheel on the other side, as you can see. Um, and then I think I just copy the red thing as well. So it's just copying at the moment. I'm just copying and then I'll fill in later on. And the creeper is probably the funniest part to build because... I didn't know how to build the creeper on top of a hoverboard. Yeah, it was very weird. I've, I can't say I've ever done that ever in my life before. So this was all new to me, building a hoverboard um, in Minecraft on a creeper. Well, a creeper on a hoverboard. Okay, then I just fill it all in now, so this is a bit boring. A bit of the boring stuff. I, you might see I've cut a lot of this out, just because it's not not much to talk about when I'm still doing this. And then I think I had a few red lines to add in more detail. Yep, a few red lines on each side. And then the fun part starts when we start to build the creeper. But I'm actually really impressed with the hoverboard though. Honestly, I'm really impressed. What do you guys think? Make sure to let me know what you guys think of the hoverboard in, in the comments. I, I Personally, I think I did pretty well. So now we start to build the creeper. The f I'm getting black because, of course, creepers have black feet, kind of. Like, they have four. I, I, I looked at a picture, right? Apparently, they have four different. Um, they have four legs. I'd never knew that. When they walk, they have four legs. I thought they only had two legs, which is quite interesting. So. Yeah, they have four legs, so you can see I do start to plan out four legs. I think I did it quite wrong though, so I had to correct myself every now and then. But I'm actually really happy with this. Again, I'm smiling as I say this because it's I, I'm just really happy. Bloody hell, that's bright. That is a bright green, isn't it? That just hurt my eyes. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue building this. Uh, as you can see, I, I speed this bit up because it's just, you know, me building a creeper. Okay, so... Here's the body. I think I went about seven up for the body, which is quite interesting. And then, yet again, this head was kind of a challenge because I'm not used to building um, four, was it six wide? I'm not used to building with that. I'm used to building with eight wide. So, yet again, this was a challenge, but I think I did pretty well. You have to see me build the creeper face right now. The classical Minecraft logo of the creeper face. There's his little moustache. I like to call it. It's obviously not a moustache. Is it a mouth? I don't even know what it is. It's so weird, but um, there's the creeper face. The creepy face everyone knows and loves. Well, loves. <laughs> they blow up your world. But do, we, do you love them? There you go. He looks so cute though, actually. And then I start to finish it off by adding loads of green dots everywhere. Because I feel like you need a bit more texture. It wasn't There wasn't much texture in this build. So I decided to add a, a, a lot more green dots everywhere. Uh, which I think actually turned out quite well. I'm really happy with it. So here is the final product of the creeper on the hoverboard. Make sure something you guys think down in the comments. I think this turned out really well, actually, this creeper on the hoverboard. So now, let's go in to another build. Thank you for the suggestion, Logan. And let's go into another build of building your hoverboard. So now we are on to the final build of this episode. We got a 
comment on Twitter from Park who says, I think you should build two Endermen fighting over a dirt block. Now, of course, I had to do this. This was a funny idea. I've, as you guys know on Survival Worlds, Endermen steal your grass blocks and things. So I thought it'd be funny. I've never saw two Endermen fighting over grass blocks, so let's try and do it. Yeah, I know he said dirt block, but I decided to change it up a bit and make it a grass block just because I thought it'd be easier to build. And as you can see, here we go. We've done one Enderman right here. I decided to make it very tall with proper... He's pretty much just an alien with... with, with eyes because the the only the only like facial expression they have is eyes uh, facial um body feature is eyes it's, it's weird uh, and then of course they have really long arms and as you can see right now i'm building the grass block and then i i just do a random design here to make it look like very grassy <laughs> and then of course they add the top bit in so there we go here is our grass block and then i also think i had a bit of lots of brown dots in just to add a bit more detail to it as you can see right now lots of brown concrete because i feel like it needs a bit more texture it looks a bit boring without the texture so i decided for that and there you go there's one enderman holding a grass block however a second enderman comes along and tries to steal this grass block and instead of building it just directly opposite i thought why not try and build an enderman upside down yeah that sounds crazy but <laughs> that's what i did i built an enderman upside down holding the grass block so Essentially, that one Enderman is holding the grass block and the other Enderman. Yeah, <laughs> very strong Enderman anyway. But you'll see how this turns out. I thought it was quite funny. I built the head there, as you can see, and the arms. I had to start with the head. It was kind of, it was kind of confusing to start with the head and then the body. Uh, but then I'm just doing a few counting jobs here, and then I think I, I have to build the arms. No, the legs last. It's so strange. So there you go. We've got two Endermen. We just need to add the eyes on now. After we've made him a bit taller. I need to add in the eyes. And I love Enderman eyes because they're so um, vibrant and purple. It's kind of scary, actually. They remind, me, they remind me of Slenderman. Enderman in Minecraft are pretty much Slenderman. I think that's probably where the idea came from when they made that. But as you can see, there we go. We've got two Endermen fighting over one grass block. Here is the final product, guys. Thank you so much, Park, for suggesting this build. I really did enjoy building it. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I think it turned out really well. Really funny. I would love to build it in survival one day. I think that'd be a, a cool challenge. And I'd love to re recreate it maybe. If you guys have ever saw two Endermen fighting over a grass spot, make sure to let me know. But I don't think it's possible. I think that's very cool. But I do want to say thank you guys for watching this episode of Building Your Comments. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I think we did pretty well. We've done five builds in there. As you can see, we managed to do the glow box uh, merchandise thing. We did the Steve riding a chicken. Um, we did the creeper on the hoverboard we did the burger and the enderman so hopefully you guys did enjoy i think this is a very productive episode if you guys could leave a like on this video that'd be amazing it did take it's probably taken about five hours overall to make this video that's recording it editing it and of course doing all that stuff so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you want to see another episode of this make sure to let me know down in the comments i sh I, might, I might be doing a live stream of this guys if you guys want to see me doing a building your comments live make sure to let me know uh, but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy if you do want to go and check out the merch make sure to do so teespring.com slash store slash jglobox hopefully you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye everyone